Hello mate, welcome back. In this video we're going to basically go through my process in creating a new character. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon, that really helps me out. And of course an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons, your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So what I essentially do when I'm creating a new character is I will load in the standard Genesis 8 female skeleton and I will basically use that as my foundation and build it from there. What I will generally do is I will start off with full body morphs which affect her from just general shape in the, uh, the kind of the big changes. Sometimes I'll find a character that I like the look of, a part of perhaps, so I'll copy part of that. But generally speaking, I try to avoid using other character morphs. I tend to use the actual body part morphs themselves specifically, simply because it's too easy to just accidentally use 90% of somebody else's character and only change 10% of the appearance and then you end up with something that's not really very unique. That being said, that is how I choose to work. It doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's the right way of doing it is my, my personal preference. So there's not a lot going on on the screen at the moment, that's because I'm basically browsing through different morphs, seeing if there are any particular shapes that I like the look of. I think this one's got an interesting shape, it makes her a bit thinner. Boobs get a bit big then. So what I generally try and do is I try and keep an eye on everything at once. Like the body, I like the, what it's done to the body, but I think the boobs have become too big. This character is going to be a younger, not not teen, but you know, a young adult who has just generally smaller um, dimensions in that area. So what I need to do now is I need to go to chest morphs and just find some, really just find some, some shapes and some morphs that are going to give me what I want. And there are certainly no shortage of um, morphs for that particular part of the anatomy. <clears throat> let's just say that's just made that look a bit kind of weird but let's just get rid of that that's the wrong kind of thing so again just there's so many different ways and things that you can do to adjust parts of the body it really is just a case of experimenting and seeing when you come up with something that you like um, that's part of what I'm after let's see if I can know that's going in the entirely wrong direction as is that and you can just keep playing around until you get something vaguely close to what you want when you find what you're after is that better eh, kind of sometimes you will find yourself going backwards and forwards between these morphs a lot as what's that done that's a little bit more of what I'm after. Got to come back in and let's go with as many different options as possible. But you want to try and keep the number of morphs to a minimum because every morph you add in is more work that Death Studio has to do in order to load in the character. So you're basically increasing the loading time every time you play around with these morphs. So what I tend to do is I tend to create the character um, and then export it as an OBJ and then re-import it and turn it into a custom character. That way I know that I am minimizing the amount of morphs. It just has one morph to deal with rather than multiple morphs. It doesn't necessarily get to speed things up a huge amount, but it will certainly help my OCD. Oh my god, that is an interesting one. Let's not use that morph. That is wacky. I just really want as many possible. Um, you just really wanted to make this look like a human being and not just like some kind of mutant. One of my major, I suppose, grievances is the wrong word, but. One of the things that annoys me about a lot of um, a lot of visual novels, particularly the adult visual novel world, is that there tends to be 
I suppose it's an anime thing, isn't it? It's the kind of anime mentality towards certain dimensions where they just take things to the extreme. I'm much more of a fan of subtlety. I know that some of my characters have really big boobs. Um, that, that is obviously a personal choice, but I think realistically you want to be making the characters look as natural as possible. Um, so this this character is a, is a sort of a... Uh, a woman in her early 20s, late teens, early 20s, so she's obviously got a certain amount of, sort of perk in her anatomy. So I'm quite happy with the boobs there. And now we can look at the glutes and the legs. So I'll go to the legs and let's see what, um, what morphs I can find there. And I have got morphs that will actually allow me to massively increase or decrease the size of very specific muscles. Um, for example, I can adjust the calves to make them huge or not if I want to. I quite like having them slightly larger. Um, and then you know, adjust the size of the hammies as well and things like that. So I'm not looking to make this woman look like a mutant. So um, I think that's probably a bad choice of morph. Let's just keep that nice and smooth. I'm not going to mess around with the adductors. We can go with a bit more hamstring. Give her a little bit girl is obviously young she does a squat she's one of those girls who just goes to the uh, gym and does squats and nothing else um, <laughs> no comment that's all I'm gonna say on that one okay so now we've got the I don't really need to mess with any more of those really I'm just looking at the glutes now let's go yeah I'm pretty happy with that shape of leg anyway and it is you just tweak tweaking and tweaking and little subtle changes and you know the shoulders are quite she looks like a woman who's carrying a you know a little bit of an extra layer of fat on there so we can go to perhaps the arms or the torso and we can shave some of that off we can add some muscle definition if we want to it's um it's really up to us this is our character we can change and adjust whatever the hell we want about it and um, it's not up to anybody else to tell us what to do with our characters. I'm just going through many morphs as I can find, and I have got a yes, I've got a lot. So let's just, I don't want stylized ones. Keep on trucking. Lots and lots of morphs to choose from. This isn't. This, I know this isn't a particularly overly exciting video in terms of what I'm actually doing on the screen. I am literally just moving morph sliders and to make sure that the character suits what I want. So I'm just going to go for some back. Go for some real world. And let's go with some muscularity. So we can adjust how big certain muscle groups are. We can make her give her some big old lats if we want to. I quite like the idea of giving her some lats, not like ridiculously big, but some just adds to that hourglass figure. We can work on the rotator cuffs and things like that as well. Just try and add a little bit of definition in there, not a huge amount. It's, you know, she goes to the gym, she does a little bit of exercise, but she's not like crazy ripped like I think I prefer that. There's a bit of muscle definition there now. And we can go into arms, feet, legs, mat, uh, anything you want to really. In terms of like the body shape of this character, I'm kind of happy there. She's, she, you know, she's not uh, weirdly proportioned. She has got some lat muscles, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Next thing I really want to do is get focusing in on the face. This is the bit really that makes all the difference. And we can just... I want to go for a kind of a three-quarter angle and that will allow me to work on firstly the head shape we can make sure that we're getting the head and neck to look like real people there's again hundreds and hundreds of different morphs got here we can make the face slightly more stumpy or slightly longer I kind of want this character to have a kind of average and give her a slightly wider face if we want to or a thinner face I'm gonna go with a bit thinner hairline down I'm, I'm not gonna mess with the hairline uh, too much at the moment we'll find out when we when we get I'm gonna give her a slightly broader jaw 
only because she's an athletic type of character. And then we can go into the face. We can just increase uh, some cheekbones. Cheekbones, we can have a little bit of cheekbone there, not too much at the end. Make sure that the cheekbones are where we need to be. Bring the cheeks in a little bit, give her a little bit of a more of a muscular athletic kind of look. Giving us a little bit of a depression there, that's cool. And what else can we do? Let's just bring those in a little bit more, give her a bit more of a jaw angle. Looks good. Or a squarer looking jaw. Notice that I've got no texture on, apart from being being necessary to make this a Facebook friendly or a YouTube friendly uh, video. There's also a certain amount of, I don't want to pollute what I'm seeing. I don't want to pollute the shapes I'm seeing with texture. Texture sometimes has um, contouring on it. You know how some girls will contour their faces with makeup. Um, which kind of gives you an illusion of the shape of the face rather than you actually seeing the real shape of the face. So I don't want to do that. I want to be able to see precisely what I'm creating in terms of shape. And then I will apply a texture to the character afterwards. Probably not in this video, but um, we can, you know, really give this character a, a sort of an athletic defined looking jaw. That looks good. And then we can move on into uh, the next part of the face which will obviously be the nose is probably the next most important thing so we can actually come around again 45 degrees i want this character to have a slightly a different kind of nose so we can bring the nose up a little bit and change quite a lot of things actually with the nose in, in, um you know you can buy the fairly sort of basic morph packs that have a, a lot of a lot of sh a lot of uh, a lot of different nose options shall we say Look, got there slightly different nose I think maybe tad tad wider yeah, just gotta find the right I'm looking for the nasolabial folds and things like that um, Add a little bit more width there. Can change quite a lot of things, quite a lot of things. That's better. I kind of like that. I prefer that nose shape. And, and again, part of the, the, good, the fun of doing this and not using textures is that how the character is actually going to look when it's rendered is it's kind of it's a little bit of a gamble because you're only seeing the shape, you're not seeing the texture, and obviously a, a realistic character needs both. So now I'm going to move on to the mouth. Just find these mouth morphs. Just give this character a little bit of a pout, perhaps. Playing with the morphs. That's all I'm doing, playing with morphs. And let's just wrap that up a smidge as well. And the beauty of this again is that you can actually use the HD morphs. In order to be able to see the HD morphs, what you need to do is go into mess resolution and change the number of subdivisions to, I believe it's three these days. And then you'll actually see your HD morphs kicking in there. Different shapes. Don't want her to look ridiculously unrealistic. Just thin those out a smidge, perhaps. Mouth depth, you can move it forwards and backwards or whatever so suits you, depending on if you want a pouty person or not. I quite like what I'm seeing there. That all looks very realistic. And again, it's very subtle. Very subtle changes. Next thing I think I'm going to work on is the eyes. So we'll go up to the eyes and close the nose and the mouth tabs in the morphs. And we'll go for changing the eyes. And this is where 
things. This is this can kind of make or break a character. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn off visibility of the eyelashes because they are just in the way. And now we can see the character. That we can make. So some people have that kind of weird. I don't, it's not weird, that's the wrong word, that's unfair. But you know, have a slightly bigger um, bulge above the eyebrows. Change them in or out. I'm quite liking just having them normal. Normal for my race, not for other people's, obviously. And we can change the of different parts of the eyebrows and the eyes. It's just really subtle changes. Playing around, seeing what happens. And that's just added bags. We don't really want that. Eye size. Let's see. We can make those slightly larger, slightly smaller. Depends on what you're after. Subtle little changes. It's kind of hard to imagine without the eyelid, eyebrows, eyelids turned on. So we'll turn the eyelashes on, and then we can see what we're working with in terms of that and you can play around for as much as you want really it's it's entirely up to you make the hands smaller the feet smaller i'm going to work on the glutes next there's just a tiny little bit of tweaking i want to make there and that is going to be realistically that so if you can't find a, a morph you can just search for it but i can do that i'm just going to change and then we can actually just different shapes again. Give me the shape I want. No, that's not what I'm after. I am not one of those people. I do not like big butts and I cannot lie. Round, yes. Big, no. That's just not my cup of tea. That's round and it's not freakishly large. Cool. So I've got a character now. I'm pretty happy with the shape overall so what i can do is i can save it as a character preset in my uh i might be maybe create like a temp folder so i'm going to create a subfolder inside my library and i'm just going to call this like temp stuff and i'm going to put two a's in front of it just to make sure that it appears near the top of my my content created that and i'm going to save this as a character preset but it's only temporary so character temp stuff I'm just going to call this uh, a load of random letters. Hit OK, just hit accept, and then that's cool. And that's really basically it for this process, really. I just go through and play with morphs until I get a shape that I like. Uh, I'm not going to apply the texture in this video because that would definitely put me into a uh, sketchy area in terms of being Facebook friendly or whatever. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. I uh, hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right? Bye-bye.